Hey, good morning, family. It is Monday. It's Memorial Day. And i um, really excited just to share this with you. Um, as we think about Memorial Day, we do think about people that have served and people that have uh, died to provide us with the, the rights and the privileges that we have right now. And so um, it's a really good day just to reflect on people that you remember and that you love, that you know have uh, provided that uh, sacrifice for us. Um, I have a, a lot of uh, friends and family. I know my dad served in the military. I know I served in the military. And so we just um, thank God for those people that are willing to do that. In addition, I want to read from um, the book of Hebrews, uh, chapter 11. And if you get a chance, uh, Hebrews chapter 11 is called the Hall of Faith um, because in that, the uh, the writer, some people believe it's the Apostle Paul, the writer of the book of Hebrews, lists several um, people that are famous for their faith. And so um, he starts it off with Hebrews 11.1. 1, it says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And then in 6, uh, Hebrews 11.6, But without faith it is impossible to please God, for he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. And then he goes on after that and he just um, goes through a list of um, people in the Bible who have demonstrated faith and have gone through some things and because of their faith um, made life uh, possible. Um, and then he, he concludes it down in verses... Um, 38, 39, and 40, it says, Of whom the world was not worthy, they wandered in deserts and mountains, in dens and caves of the earth. All these, having obtained a good testimony through faith, did not receive the promise, God having provided something better for us, that they should not be made perfect apart from us. And so I just want you to take some time today as you reflect on all the good things that God has done for, uh, for you, and if you think, um, well, he really hadn't done a whole lot of good for me, um, think again and just start to remember some of the things that people you know have done and sacrificed for you so that you can have uh, a good life. And um, by faith, begin to search the promises of God and believe them, you know, put, them, put, a, put a demand on them. Uh, God has these promises for us. Because he wants to fulfill the promises. He wants to bring to pass in our lives what he has promised. And so the people that we read about in the Bible that endured hardships and the people in the Bible that we read about that actually did um, conquer giants and, and subdue kingdoms, God wants to do that for us. And so we just need to get those promises. We need to believe those promises and we need to speak them and watch them come to pass. All right, I love y'all. Hope you have a great Memorial Day and um, be blessed.